Welcome back. So now we're going to be looking at loans. Loans are a variety of ways that you can be borrowing money from someone else. So that could be short term or long term loans. So how loans work. You borrow a lump sum for a period of time, usually to buy a car or a house or something else. Home loans are usually called mortgage bonds. And so uh, that's why we often talk about a person having a bond on a house. The thing that makes a home loan special is the fact that, or the reason why it's called a mortgage bond, is because the amount that you have borrowed is secured by the item that you're buying. All right. So if you don't pay your home loan, you don't pay your bond, the bank has full rights to take your property and sell it to get back the money that they've lent you. All right. So they are quite special. It's the same thing a bit, a bit with a car where and until you've paid off the entire loan, you will have to uh, make sure you're paying it. Otherwise, they're going to repossess it and sell it to recoup, recoup any costs. All right. Now, the balance will earn compound interest on it. And you will make monthly contributions to the loan to pay off the interest and the original amount. All right. The payments are equal over the length of the bond and are called installments. Now, we're going to be paying attention to bonds here rather than car loans, but the same concept will work here. All right. And when we break these things up, we call it amortizing. All right. So we determine how much the installments will be by amortizing the bond. That means that these equal payments will be made on a regular basis, say monthly. So if it's a 25 year bond, you're going to make 300 equal payments so that the very last payment will pay off everything and you will owe zero. Okay. Every time an interest rate changes and you have a bond that depends on the interest rate, they're going to recalculate what your installment needs to be to the minimum that you need to pay so that once the time is up, you would have paid off everything. So how to calculate? It gets a little bit tricky here. So we're not going to go into all of the details of calculating these things. We just want to look at the core of of so on. Okay, so if you take a loan of 1,150,000 for 25 years, that's three months at 7% per annum compounding monthly. All right, doing all of the magical mathematics that you would do with it, the monthly installments or payments would work out to 8,127 Rand and 96 cents per month. That means that if I lay it out here, my opening balance, or the balance at the beginning of the first month, would be 1,150,000. The interest that we would calculate on this would be 6,708 Rand and 33 cents. And you'll see my payment is the same. So just look at how I worked out my interest. I take my 1,150,000, multiply it by 7%, divided by 12 to get me that individual month's interest. Okay, so once we've made that payment, at the start of the next month, month two, we will have a new balance of 1,148,580 rand and 37 cents. Because if you go and look at the amount of the interest and the amount of the payment, that payment is going mostly to the interest and only a little bit, just over 2,000 rand, will be taking off any of our it's not even 2,000 Rand, I lie. But it'll be taking away a little bit of our balance. But we'll make the same payment. The payment takes up a little bit more of my interest now because the interest is slightly smaller. Okay, it's a little bit, it's 8 Rand less. So when I go to the third month, you'll see that my balance is reducing once again by uh, about 1,000 Rand, 1,500 Rand. Okay, and so my interest is lower. Once again, by about uh, nine rand, eight rand something. And so my same installment. Now we can go on and on and on. I could have 300 blocks here, but you know that would take up too much space and too much of this video. So let's jump to the middle of the loan. So at month 149, that's about 12 and a half years down the line, almost. You now have a balance of 817,780 rand and 13 cents. The interest has come down to 4,770 rand 38. 
So when I make my payment, I'm making a far bigger payment towards my balance and less to interest. And so things get smaller. So you'll see that my balance reduces a lot quicker here. And when I go to month 150, the balance has gone down and the interest is reducing by 20 Rand now each time. And so month 151, you'll see the interest is even lower again by another, say, 20 Rand. And my balance is getting chipped away at a, quite a quick rate. Fast forward in time to just before the end of the loan. So about uh, three months before the end of the loan. So it's about 24 years, nine months. That's 298 months. You'll see we only owe 24,102 Rand and 15 cents. The interest has come down to 140 Rand and 60 cents. So when I make my payment, the same payment that I've made every month for the last 298 months, my balance will be at 16,114 and 78 cents. So the interest comes down again to 94 Rand. It's a lot smaller. And that gives me a balance of 8,080 Rand and 82 cents. The interest on that is 47 Rand 14. So when I make my final payment, I'm going to get down to zero. If I add my interest on the 80,000, sorry, 8,080 Rand and 82 cents plus my interest, I will get exactly the same amount as that final payment. So once I'm done, I would have paid off my loan completely. Okay, so what some things to notice. The interest decreases as the balance decreases. The final installment covers the remaining interest and the balance. Some people choose to, if they have an access bond or something like that, to try to keep the loan open. And so they won't actually make that last full payment. They'll pay less and just leave the interest payment behind. And they'll keep maintaining that interest payment because someone can probably maintain to pay a couple of rands worth of interest each month. Okay, and that keeps it open and they can access it and withdraw the money from it again. But that's a special type of bond. All right, so just to sum it up, loans, we take them for a long period of time. What you have here is that the amount is calculated using some formulas to get a regular installment each month. All right, that the installment should stay the same as long as the interest rate stays the same or the period of the loan stays the same. And as you go along with that payment, you're paying a little bit more into the balance or the capital, the original amount that you follow, borrowed, and less and less to the interest because the interest reduces the more you pay off the bond. And everything works out to zero at the very final period. Okay, so that last payment will pay off everything and you won't owe anything more in the end. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful and as you always, stay safe.